and we're recording. Amazing. Can I have your name and um, the, your title? My title is so, my company of me. Both. Both. My name is Laura Harling and uh, my company is First Draft Theatre and I'm the producer and artistic director. Brilliant. Laura, just tell me about your company and what you're trying to do with it. Okay, we set it up uh, about a year and a half ago now to um, give new writers, actors, performers, like-minded individuals an opportunity to explore new works um, and devise pieces. So what we do is three things really. We uh, work with new writing, fresh adaptations, so an ad adaptation of a, of, a, of a classic or something, and devised work. We have a structure where we work, um, we rehearse for three days and we perform over three evenings, so it's quick and fast. And uh, we approach everything like full production value, so we try and get the best out of the, the time given. Pause there for a moment. Um, and what do you think people who've been involved in the company and also those who've watched it, what do you think they've got out of it? Well, for the writers, um, First of all, it's first draft, so it's the first, most of the writing is the first time that it's been staged. So the aim really for them is to is to take the script forward, is to take it further, to see their their writing up on its feet for the first time, and then see what works, what doesn't work, and then develop it further. Um, for the actors, um, like most most work in the fringe, well, hopefully most work, um, it's all a learning, it's all a, it's all like a lesson. Everything's a lesson, so you're constantly learning. So hopefully, the fact that structure for rehearsing for only three days. Um, it gives quite a spontaneous performance, it's still quite close to the, to the text. There's not too much time to indulge as an actor um, and it, it is absolutely nerve-wracking but it's very rewarding because you stand up on the first night having only rehearsed for three days and give a spectacular performance. So that's what the actor gets out of it and the director the same sort of thing. I mean it's very quick um, and they have to, you have to think fast and and therefore it's something quite unique that comes out because of, because of the structure of the rehearsals. Um, and you started off, I believe, as an actor. Yes, I did. Um, why did you think that this was a good thing for you to do personally and why did you think it was necessary in terms of the, the, um, the field that you're in? Because when I, I, I worked as a child actor and I mainly in TV and, and film and then I went to train because I found it difficult of crossing that boundary between child and, and adult actor. So I went off to train, and when I was coming out of training, I wanted to do more theatre, and that was my aim. There was nothing about really for me, especially not the paperwork. Um, it's very difficult to find the opportunities, especially when you're still young, because there just isn't. There's a lot, many, many actors within the young sort of range of casting, and there's not enough jobs out there. Um, so I wanted, first of all, to create another company that can give more opportunities and for myself as well to keep myself occupied so I don't fall into that pit of depression going oh my god I'm just going to become a banker not that would happen but you know without falling into the the nine to five routine and, and taking on a, a job that I never set out to do in the first place this kept me going and kept my contacts going as actor and, and it's great to see other actors up working and giving opportunities whether it's paid or not it's still keeping your keeping things going um, so that's, that's why I set it up. Um, and how difficult was it to start this from scratch? Presumably quite quite tough at points. It, yeah, it ha yeah, it is tough at points and it still is tough because we run every single month so we're constantly produce, uh, producing more work. Um, but I think as long as, I mean, as long as you really want to do it and the passion is there and the drive and commitment and you've got the right people around you, it, it's not it kind of runs it runs like clockwork most of the time and then things happen and then you overcome them but i think <clears throat> as long as it's you you've you set things up for a reason and when it's not a huge profit making company you know and and it's still very small you are kind of you're doing it because of the passion and because of the ideas behind it and why you started and as long as you remember that then um, then yeah it, it, it runs by itself I think, sometimes sometimes <laughs> I mean, in terms of what advice you have to either aspiring actors, directors, writers, those who can't get an agent, mm. those who've just come out of college yeah. and see that there are no jobs around, I mean, what would you say to those people? I'd say give it at least six months. <laughs> I'd say... Um, Go and be a banker. Yeah. <laughs> Go and work at Christmas in a restaurant, make lots and lots and lots of money, just work seven days a week for a month over Christmas and then save your pennies and, and then just keep going, just take every opportunity um, when you realise that you're working with something that's not so good, just get it over quick and then move on to the next thing, but I think take every single opportunity that you can um, and and if you want to set a, a company up or, or to keep your work going yourself, there are ways of doing it and it isn't that hard and never never be afraid of asking someone for something, whatever league they're in, you know, 
never be, if you want to write to a very well-known actor or a very well-known agent, just do it, because the worst thing they can do is say no. I just think, don't be afraid, um, and and keep the passion alive, <laughs> I think. And is it is it worth it? Yeah, it definitely is. It's so rewarding, I think, on both terms. I'm in a show right now. Um, it's unpaid, it's fringe work, but it's been a learning curve through the rehearsal process and through, and, and it's taught me lots of things, not just in, in the skills of being an actor, but I've, the, the subject matter of the play has taught me a lot of things that I never knew before, you know, I mean, um, and that, that, yeah, it is worth it because you're constantly meeting new people and, and you're constantly doing the thing that you want to do. It, uh, it definitely is worth it, I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's hard, but, um, yeah, it is, I would say so. So do this, do your passion, and then marry a banker. Yeah. Or marry, maybe not, but maybe an architect. <laughs> or a, uh, I don't know, someone. <laughs> Under the successful yeah. actor. Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> no much. Problem. That's what my mum's always like, find yourself a nice banker. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going out with a journalist. Oh, yeah. Didn't really work. <laughs> uh, that was wicked. Thank All you right. so much. Okay.